This video will show an example of solving a matrix equation by using matrix inverses. Suppose that we want to solve an equation that is of the form d inverse times a inverse times 2 x minus the matrix product AC times the matrix B is equal to A. We want to solve for x. Now in a regular algebraic equation we could just multiply by appropriate things on both sides and then add proper things, divide again, and get a solution for x. However, in matrix equations the most important thing is that order is going to matter. We're going to do the same kind of things as in algebra but the order of the multiplications is going to be crucial. Therefore, we're going to first start by left multiplying this entire expression by d. So that will give us d times d inverse a inverse 2x minus ac times b is equal to, and on this side it has to be the same exact order, so d times a. It cannot be a times d. And now here we see that this becomes i, the identity matrix, because we have d times d inverse, and therefore the equation becomes a inverse times 2x minus ac times b is equal to dA. Now we can do this again, and let's say now we multiply on the right side. We're going to multiply by b inverse. So we have a inverse 2x minus ac times b times b inverse and that's equal to d a and then also times b inverse. The order again matters and we see here we have the identity matrix and so this simplifies down to a inverse 2x minus ac is equal to d a b inverse. Proceeding in the same way we're going to left multiply by a to get 2x minus ac is equal to a d a b inverse 2x is equal to, we can just add this to here, and that's going to be a, d, a, b inverse plus a, c. And finally, we can divide by the scalar 2 to get 1 half times the quantity a, d, a, b inverse plus a, c. And if we want, we can also factor out an a to get 1 half a times d a b inverse plus c. So the most important part of all of this is that when, when we were performing the computations the order matters. You have to do things in the same order on both sides. If you left multiply you have to left multiply both sides. If you right multiply you have to right multiply both sides. Otherwise you're going to get the wrong answer.